Hey, what's happening, Shiba Inu fam? So we're going to talk about if and when Shiba Inu will get back to where it was when it got listed to Kraken, which was around that 5.2, 5.3, level. We're going to talk a little bit about that from a technical perspective, where we're bouncing off of right now and where we could be heading if we hold this current line of support. So if it's your first time dropping in, thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, if it's your second, third, fourth time dropping in, thank you so much for coming back. Let me take a quick sip and then we will jump in to this. Okay, first sip of the day. That was really good. Okay, so this basically says this black trend line is an important zone now for SHIB. You can see this black line going straight across the screen, okay? That's an important zone for SHIB now, okay? So we're looking at that, and basically it says here, as we can see, the price is nearing strong supports here, and the main supports that are now hitting are the 3.2 and 3.0 level, okay? Here's your local support line, this green line down here. If we can hang in here and hover on this local support line, we could be in store for a rise and also a pump for SHIB like the green arrows on the chart suggest, okay? And this would get us back into the you know high fours and maybe even into the low fives. Again, going back to late November, this is where we were on the heels of Kraken listing Shiba Inu, okay? So that's kind of what we're watching for here. Uh, let's bounce over to TradingView itself. We can see kind of what this looks like. This is the daily chart. So we were a little bit lower than this, of course, down here on December 20th. We were actually at that that 3-0 level of support. We just need to hover from where we are right now into that threes and not dip lower than that. If we can keep this line of support, we should be in store uh, for a you know, come back here and it'll get back into this zone. Again, this is where we were on the heels of the Kraken news. This will be our next big line of resistance. Okay. Once we reach that. All right. Now uh, let's kind of, let's kind of look at the overall market here and see what, what's going on with it. We're pretty much flat today. Overall market is 2.25 trillion. We've been hovering around that number for quite some time. Ethereum is a uh, 38.5 and some change. Bitcoin is getting close to 47 here. And again, it's just, we, we continue to go back and forth between these ranges, right? 46,000, 47,000, 48, maybe pop up to 50 and then come back down to 48 or 47. Just seems like we're always kind of in this uh, cycle of, of very choppy market conditions right now. And I do think things will get better. Uh, but right now, you know, we've got a lot of FUD out there in the markets, right? Talking about money printing and hyperinflation and all this stuff. And it gets people going. It gets people, it gives people fear, uncertainty, and doubt, right? And that's what we talk about all the time. In fact, we can go look at the fear, greed index. Crypto fear and greed index. We come over here. We can uh, check this out and kind of see where we are. We're still in extreme fear. Yesterday was just fear. Now extreme fear. We've been in uh, this side of the the uh, the pendulum here for quite some time. Okay, if we look at this from a three month perspective, this whole thing started mid November. Okay, where we were at seventy one on the fear and greed index, and then all of a sudden, boom, fifty two, boom, all the way down to thirty four, and we've just been, um, you know, pretty much down here all December long. Now we hit rock bottom on the sixth. Okay, a couple times we hit down to 16 on here. Uh, we've been hovering down here in the low 20s the last few days. But again, what this does is it takes volatility, market momentum, slash volume, social media surveys, dominance, and trends all into one measure of how people are feeling about the crypto market. Okay, so when we see it in extreme fear, it's a good time to buy. When we see it in extreme greed, it uh, means investors are getting too greedy. It could be due for a correction. Right now, we're in extreme fear. It could be a sign that investors are too worried. This could be a buying opportunity. That's what we talk about all the time. Uh, so good opportunity to go hunting. This also just talks about kind of where we are from a price standpoint. Uh, let me pull this up here. Uh, I'll go back in here. There we go. I just realized I wasn't even showing you the crypto fear and greed index. So basically, here's what I was showing you. November all the way down in here. Uh, and we could see it, you know, just fell off all the way till December. We've been hovering down here in the 20s for a while here in the extreme greed. Uh, that's where we are, or extreme fear zone. That's where we are right there. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I thought I had that up on screen and I did not. Okay. Uh, so this is the other thing I was going to uh, come back to is this article real quick. Just talking about the SHIB price declining further from the 3.3 level. Currently, we are at that 3.327. 
But uh, same thing here. They talk about the strongest support being here at the 3291. So hopefully we can hold that line today and uh, bounce off there. So thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, it's been uh, kind of a rough go at it in the crypto market, but uh, we'll continue to keep you posted and we'll continue to uh, bring into up to speed news and information and uh, be patient out there. We're hanging in there. Uh, things will get better. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.